So, so uh, this is a message to the Mizo people, the NGOs like the Mizo Zerlai Powell and the Mizoram government regarding the ongoing uh, situation which ha happened along the border of Mizoram and Assam whereby through news reports and social media we have seen that uh, scores of Mizos are being attacked by illegal immigrants who came from the other side of the border and as per, I have, uh, as per my discussion with the advisor of the Mizo Zerlai Powell, Mr. Riti Kolni Lalbiak Mawya, he informed me that uh, the illegal immigrants who are mostly Bengalis from Kachar district, they wanted to occupy a huge tract of land located uh, inside the territory of Mizoram. These people, they came in droves and they tried to take over the Mizoram and there was a scuffle, there were skirmishes in that region whereby scores of Mizo, as we have seen in social media, scores of Mizo, Mizos were grievously injured. So such a situation is nothing new in Meghalaya. We can, uh, I can recall back 10 years ago in 2010, there was a border skirmish along uh, Meghalaya and Assam in West Kasi Hills in a village known as Langpi, whereby four innocent souls were snatched away. They, they were gunned down by the Assam police inside the territory of Meghalaya. Four of them died and it was a very gloomy day for us. It was very shocking and it was very sad indeed that people, innocent people, innocent indigenous Kasis have to lose their lives because uh, illegal immigrants who are, uh, who are on the other side of the border try to claim, try to take and snatch away the, uh, the land of the Kasis to them. And the Assam police are also, are also conniving with them because they opened indiscriminate fire on a group of Kasi people. So the same situation is happening in Mizoram nowadays. So the problem of illegal immigration is not only in the Mizoram border but in the entire Northeast region. And in Meghalaya we have experienced and we are still uh, struggling day by day in order to tackle the complexity and the ramifications of illegal immigration in the state. There were a series of agitations since 1979 until date. Because as you can see, for those people, those Mizos who have been studying in Shillong, they have seen the situation in Shillong whereby the Kasis have become a minority within their own state. And because of that situation, there is a contestation of space. There has been uh, uh, clashes between the indigenous tribals and the uh, immigrant non-tribals over land, over jobs over trade, uh, over uh, a lot of many issues. They were fighting, they were uh, skirmishes. So that's why we cannot say that uh, our state is a very peaceful state because of that situation. However, Mizoram always received the tag that it was the most, it is the most peaceful state in the entire country of India. But with the recent incidents, where houses are being torched, farmhouses, a lot of people are being uh, attacked uh, by group of immigrants coming from the other side of borders armed with lathis, rods, knives, swords and daggers. Such a situation had happened in Meghalaya and it had happened on the 28th of February 2020 or so when there was an agitation against <coughs> the implementation of ILP whereby these illegal immigrants had the audacity to come armed with uh, weapons the attack and uh, injured a lot of uh, uh, attendance, Kasi attendance of that meeting. And in that melee, one of uh, one Kasi youth died in a hospital because of too excessive bleeding. So, to the people of Mizo, uh, I would like to state that uh, although we belong to different tribes, the Kasis and the Mizos, but the objective is the same, and that is to protect our territorial integrity. That is to protect our rights over our land, that is to ensure that the people, that our future generations will be masters in their own land and will not be snatched away by the illegal immigrants. So the fight is still going on. I've heard that uh, a lot of people have come to the border. Uh, young people were guarding the border and they're having sleepless nights. I would like to say that the KSU wholly supports the, uh, uh, wholly supports the movement of the Mizo people. We, wholly endorse of what they are doing and we will pray for you every day so that you may succeed in your endeavor because 
The Mizo society is one of the most progressive society in the northeastern region. The forefathers of the Mizos have fought and they have achieved a tremendous uh, job in ensuring that the Mizos will belong only for the Mizos and there will be no illegal immigrants. The forefathers are now gone. Now it is the duty of the present generation to fight for their rights, to fight for their lands, not only for themselves, but also for the future generation. Please continue the fight. Fight till the last drop of your blood. Fight till your last breath. Because if you do not keep up the fight, then your future generations will suffer at the end. The younger Mizu people might not understand the complexity and the ramifications of the issues of influx or illegal immigration. So I exhort upon each and every Mizu that this is the time that you will have to assert that your land is your land and nobody has any right to snatch it away from you. Thank you very much.